Hey guys, it's Kyle here with Kyle Cigar Reviews. Today we have the Nub Habano 460, and we've got two of them up for review. This cigar is made by the Levis Cigar Company. It's a 4x60, and it's a Nicaragua Impuro. Taking a look at the stick here, the Habano wrapper looks very nice. It's got a nice, uh, a lot of, a lot of nice small veins. Very seamless. A very well made cap as well. I've always had good cuts in all of my nubs. And they just look so well packed. Really just a great presentation in the nub. So let's go ahead and get this thing cut up. Let's go get it lit. Hey guys, we are back for another dual review. It's Kyle here and my boy Spencer. This is probably the last one. He's heading down to Houston, going to Minneapolis. But uh, like I said, today we have the nub Habanos. Let's get this thing cut up and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I think we're lit here. It's a toast to out here today. Almost uh, 90 degrees, so it's got some heat. Right away for me, it's got a pretty effortless draw. Um, just some really like nice sweet flavors. Almost a little bit of spice. What do you get, Spence? Same thing. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, think I agree with you. Everything you said. Uh, not really getting too much else. Probably a good medium body. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty nice. <coughs> Putting out some nice smoke. Sure is. All right, let's get in this bad boy. We'll be back. Hey guys, we are back here right about 30 minutes or so on the nub. For me, I'm really experiencing about a medium, medium full body. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Got the medium full body. Um, overall, for my construction, you know, it's burning okay. Uh, yeah, it's really hot out here, so I'm not sure how much that's going to really affect it, but I have had to touch it up a few times. I don't think you have, have you? I haven't had to touch mine up at all. The only thing is uh, my ash did just fall off, though. So. Smoking it like a chimney over here. So. I'm still holding on strong. Um, you know, these are relatively pretty slow burning sticks. I have probably three quarters an inch or so. Uh, like I said, yeah, the construction's just been lacking on mine, but Spencer's had no issues, so. Um, really for the flavors, I get a lot of like, just like a nice little sweet, peppery notes. Very, it's kind of got a long finish. It really sticks in your mouth. Kind of gives you almost like a little bit of like a harshness, but it's very, it's very low manner. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, same thing. Uh, kind of like a tangy spice a little bit. Um, yeah. A little sweetness. It's good though. It's very smooth. It's just kind of like creamy, but it just has this nice little tang to it. Very Habano like. And the best, really, the whole cigar has had that all the way through, so it's been very consistent. Uh, I mean, that's kind of the thing for the nubs. They, they were generally looking for the whole cigar to be a sweet spot. That's where they made them. Not just one half of a cigar, you know, if you got like a long Churchill. The whole thing is supposed to taste good, and I'm definitely experiencing that. Really, no, uh, I'm not getting any strength out of it, no buzz or anything yet, so let's, uh, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see you then. Alright guys, hey, we are right back here. Right around just past an hour or so. Uh, we both have, oh, I'd say about an inch and a half left, but we're really starting to warm up. Again, I'm thinking body's veins, pretty much the same. Not much change there. Um, overall, like, the burn has been a little shaky for me, but pretty good for Spencer. I've had touch mine up definitely a couple more times than he has. We can get to do this maybe once. Um, pretty simple in that, but the, I think the construction's been great. Our ashes have definitely both held on decent. Um, no flaking whatsoever. Mine wasn't flaking at all, which is awesome. The ash falls off one solid chunk. You know, just perfect in that boat. Flavors for me were very consistent. You know, we kept just that same tangy spiciness. Um, yeah, I just love the consistency. And I think that's what we, the nubs are really well uh, good for. You know, you get the small stick that's going to burn for about an hour and you just keep those good flavors. Um, oh, what do you think, Commander? Yeah, I agree with you. Um, not really uh, big into like the full body, but I'd say that this was more a lot more mellow, and uh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, mine now is just starting to tunnel, and it's pretty much dead. You know, I could probably toast up the wrapper here a little bit and burn it a little longer, but 
really starting to get more of a heat, which isn't necessarily that enjoyable. So um, I haven't gotten any strength either. Um, it's, you know, pretty minimal. It's really windy out here, so it's really hard to get a lot of yeah. the aromas, but I think they're probably pretty good. Uh, overall, what do, you, what do you think of the cigar? I like it. It's a good cigar. I'd definitely smoke it again. Good. good. I, I agree. I love the nubs. I'm always one to buy you know, maybe the sampler pack because they do make these in Connecticut, Maduro, Cameroon, and then obviously the Habano. So they're definitely great sticks to try. Overall, the score I did give it was an 87, which is a B plus. So definitely a great cigar to check out. Uh, thanks for joining me, Spencer. Maybe we can do this another time, hopefully this weekend. But uh, thanks for watching Kyle Cigar Views. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe.